and they're able to adjust on the fly in the draft so we might see a totally different composition in our game number three adaptability will be tested flexibility will be tested out as well as we jump into the champ select by right go on how fellow adversity is going to play this out or how team secret is going to move some of the champions away from fellow adversity that's looking like to be the same directive fennel adversity just removing tatsuri's pick the senna bot lane and as well as the camille flex with a sing big single target team secret though opting for a focus on to show there we go the rengar we talked about this in the draft earlier so maybe a twisted fate might appear in the fennel adversity draft we'll see what the response is on the other side because riven is open riven varus is going to be the, the 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 pick up from team secret priority yeah, it's a foundation for Team Secret. This is the team, or this is the draft rather, that has beaten Fennel Adversity in the prior game and has beaten them in the semifinals. So they're locking it in. However, Fennel Adversity is going to match that up once again with a Kaisa pick in their draft, but rather not going for Nami, but going for a Janna. Yeah, I really love this. They're already anticipating the dives coming from Team Secret. So this is going to help with keeping the lane safe with a lot of peel with the monsoon disengage as well come level five team secret going for the classic pair with the varus and the nami as the as the pair for the varus meanwhile for trevor going for that big single target so there's a lot of single targets going on on team secrets draft so for fennel will they go for the twisted fate rengar combo that we talked about but no that's gonna be a jarvan four on the top side for power and the cannon, Ooh, cannon. for sean this is gonna be spicy indeed indeed one percent pick or ban rate and rafi's gonna pick this up now the question is, is this going to be a cannon support? Is this going to be a cannon baron? But considering you have a Janna already, this might go into the mid lane or the baron. So now it's Team Secret trying to match that up with a Fizz as well. This is going to be spicy. It's going to be a banger of a series, Riku. This is big all-in team fight. We'll see if the setups are going to be there. Cataclysm into the slicing maelstrom perhaps could be the key here for the side of Fennel Adversity. But take note, there is a little bit of unsynergy uh, going on here with the Monsoon. Can push back targets away, possibly, from the Cataclysm or possibly out of range of the Slicing Maelstrom. So we'll see how the coordination will happen here on the side of Fennel Adversity. Meanwhile, classic for Team Secret. They managed to get Tatsuri on again, on towards this Fizz. A lot of single target assault and battery into the chum of the waters and then bubble and then the chain of corruptions we'll see how this game is going to go let's jump in into the rift this is going to be the tiebreaker as one to one has already been set game three for federal adversity versus team and secret here we go it is a it is everybody in the mid lane just wanting to get that early priority as well and to see if there are going to be lane swaps happening so fennel or team secret can adjust accordingly look at this though trevor or rather fennel adversity going to get the krugs earlier on for doming to get so team secret can adjust most likely just go into never mind though this looks to be an attempt on trevor's life here getting the jump in Oh no, Hamas might be all alone, but the discipline coming from Team Secret not to consume any summoner spells except for the healing is really, really good coming from Team Secret. And now the lane swap is going to happen if we get to see an adjustment here. Top side, Team Secret dual lane will be a top, of course. And now the same goes for Fennel Adversity's bottom lane. We'll see how this double Yordle matchup is going to go as well. It's a very contrasting, uh, contrasting concept, rather, where Tatsuri is going to be more focused on the single target and then Shaw more on that AoE. They need to have it because a while ago, it was a problem that Final Adversity was facing. They need some AoE engage, especially with Cannon being buffed in patch 2.4b. This could be a good key to victory here for Final Adversity taking the advantage, but so far, it's going to be a stagnant game for now in the first two minutes into the matchup, but look at Rengar now going Coming. in for the flank. It's going to be Azar now going for the 2v1. Flash going to be burned. Fennel Versity takes a good trade. Spell away for Azar. You got to love the patience there coming from Doming. Held on to the bowl strike, waited for the flash, and then 
He's playing the mind games as R4 sees a flash now. That's not going to be available anytime soon for the next few minutes. So, final adversity. Mainly, Domin can make another attempt of the visit, but for sure, Azar is going to be wary. Going to be planting out the vision just to make sure his lane is safe while he is vulnerable without a flash. Meanwhile, for Team Secret, with this lane swap, going to be seeing Fennel Adversity dual lane being poked out by a lot of range coming from the side of Chewie and Hamez. So, Rafi is there at least to mitigate the damage. But look at this. It's going to be a regular lane start now for both Fennel and Team Secret. Now, we're going back standard, I think. Team Secret, you know what? We're going for the lane switch. Fennel Adversity went in for the lane switch. Let's just reflect their changes. Let's just adapt into the situation. And I think that's going to be the best move. Because when you're matching this up, you're just letting Danny and Rafi go for the free farm if you don't switch. So Chewie, Ham is going to the bot lane. So going to be evenly matching it up against Fennel Adversity. If you're looking at the gold difference, it's Ham is having 500 gold lead away from Rafi. Yeah. And Chewie and Danny is pretty much even. So I think that's an important thing to take note because Rafi is falling down behind. And it's still going to be the swiftness being prioritized. Top side though. Azar with a cataclysm. Wow. Rengar to go for the jump in. Trail over the hunt. That's going to be the first blood for Fennel Adversity. That is so smart from Fennel Adversity. He doming or rather power baited so much mobility from Azar. So once the cataclysm came in, he had no way out. Despite again, the Riven has so much mobility on the kit. Without the flash, Azar, without the cooldowns, Azar cannot escape. Look at this. Whatever. I saw him better. He immediately follows up with a Tizen Way. CG Chain gonna be flawless. And Team Secret gets the trade down for the first kill in game. Yeah, perfect timing, too. It is the Infernal Drake already alive. So Team Secret can transition to that without the fear of Danny being present. Final Adversity, though, looks like they're sticking to their guns at top site instead to get the Rift Herald, unlock the top lane, and then see where the gold pushes through. When we look at the fights, though, coming from Fennel Adversity, remember, one, when the when the double poke happened in the composition in game number one, the answer was heavy engage, and they have it. They've got Shaw, especially later on, once the slicing Maelstrom, everything else will follow through. And Power, with a flag and drag combo into the Cataclysm, trapping down Chewie. If you burn a flash from Chewie before initiating, then it is going to be perfect. It's going to be an insta-death for the Varus. Therefore, no pokes for Fennel Adversity to fear. Yeah. That's the winning condition when it comes to those team fights for Fennel Adversity. But currently, looking at the overall game, Fennel Adversity has taken the tower for his blood. The teams get traded onto the Infernal Dragon for the Rift Herald. And so far, the gold is still pretty much even. Team Secret is just leading the pack here. Even if they lost the Tower from Blood, no worries. We have the Infernal Dragon. We're trading onto the gold. It's not going to be so far of a difference here. So still, Fennel Adversity, even if they take in the Rift Herald, it's still not going to be a huge lead up against Team Secret. Oh! The Doming got to be rooted down, followed by the Tidal Wave. Will not connect. Doming's got to be safe. But that is a flash loss, so... That means Doming is unable to play aggressively this time around as his safety net is gone. And therefore, for, for Team Secret in the meantime, has to be wary about these cooldowns. Has to be wary about the Cataclysm, Thrill of the Hunt, in as well as the Slicing Maelstrom. But looking at their conditions, again, this is a very strong pick composition where they can just press their ults, focus down a target. Especially Danny here being the most vulnerable one and then make it into a 4v5. That is their key. That is the condition that Team Secret can do. And they can even enable this 1-4 strat as Azar will be doing the split push later on. Definitely. They need to do this. Shaw is going to be one of the key valuable players when it comes to initiating those team fights, engaging those team fights. However, he's not going to be as tanky as we would have expected. Because he's going for AP, and I'm expecting him to go for the Stasis Enchant later on. To be able to go for the Slicing Maelstrom in the middle of the fight. And still and still constantly deal off massive amounts of damage. I think that's going to be a route that Shaw is going to take in. But Fennel Versity though with the Rift Herald spawn into the bot lane. 
They really want to take this gold lead away from Team Secret. Now, Team Secret now shuffling over towards topside to even out the map score. We'll see. I bet that's going to be another charge here as Thrill of the Hunt activated. And Fennel, our Team Secret's nowhere near this. They're here, bro. Yeah, Tidal Wave. We'll go for the knockoff. Dominic's going to get pinned down. That's going to be the kill for Team Secret. And now they have the numbers advantage, but power, very low on HP. Whoa. Assault and Battery Flash is now going to be burned as well. And Team Secret tries to go for the engage. And power tries to walk. Shaw? He's walking. He's trying. And now slicing Maelstrom. Actually goes for the knockoff. Coming from Trumps to water from Tetsuri. Goes in. One HP for Shaw. As Team Secret will lose two of their turrets and trade only for a kill in the Rift Herald. Yeah, I think that's pretty worth for Fennel Adversity too. They're able to get a lot of space in the bottom portion of the map. They have to defend this mid lane though if they want to deny any exchange from Team Secret. Yeah, it's Doming trying to go for the defense. Fennel Adversity has docked in top of the mid lane. Five members in. So Zar has got to be very low on HP. He's got to get slain down. Team Secret are going to lose their Baron laner to try and even just engage for the mid turret, which they did not get. It's perfect timing too. Six seconds in the clock for the next Dragon to spawn. The Omni Vamp is going to help exponentially against this poke composition from Chewy. So the sustained, the sustained is going to be very important. Team Secret has to give this up. While they have the first Dragon of the game, of course, they want those buffs stacking. And Battle Adversity! Playing this really, really well. Look at that. You mentioned Infinity earlier that the Zonius, the Stasis will be very important for Shaw later on. And now he has that. So he'll be a little bit more brave coming into these initiations, especially when Team Secret are, is practically clumped together. They need to. And I think Team Secret now with this information has to separate a little bit. But not separated as much as Final Adversity will have that good positioning away for Team Secret. So it's going to be weighing the risk and benefit for Team Secret in this late of a game, especially at 10 minute mark as Shaw has already built onto his items. It's going to be them actually taking the gold lead as well at 1k. So it's going to be a cautious game for now for both teams so far. Yeah, I feel like it's one of those things where Team Secret will constantly find opportunities to get a pick. Fennel Adversity can possibly do the same. Look at them. This is Death Squad. So the hunt actually goes for the Ruta as well. Killer Instinct to follow through. That's going to be massive. Trevor's Assault and Battery to try to go back away. But he gets slain. No jungler for Team Secret. Beautifully done by Fennel Adversity here. They're able to get the jungler down. They want the Baron start. This is just the perfect timing as they're starting it now. 17 seconds on the clock. Chewie can poke from behind the pit. And they do it though. Chain of Corruption now going to be casted away. Tidal Wave goes for the knockoff as well. Chunk the water to fall through. Power. Key potential. Now it's actually going to get bursted down. Power is going to get lost down. But Fennel Adversity will take the Baron buff. And Team Secret wants to remove this. Doming will jump back in. That's going to be Azar taking that. That's going to be a race from Fennel Adversity. It is a 2 for 2 But the fight's not going to be over. Hammond forces the Flash away into the tier 1 mid lane as Team Secret will lose that trade for Fennel Adversity. Yeah, they're still able to keep three buffs on their side. So the mid lane, the jungle, and as well as the support, I believe. So that is a mini win. They can spread that out into three lanes if they want to and if they need to. The Team Secret, gotta definitely be wary. Vision is gonna be very important. Fennel Adversity now has that 2k gold lead, now double Zonius for Danny to come in or rather if they're affected by the chum the waters he can just immediately pop the stasis now team secret for sure are going to be investing a lot of these vision final adversity the same can be said for them to get information to get picks here and there look at team secret oh Shaw, chunks of water, chain of corruption, tidal wave, gonna bring him down that's gonna be evisceration coming from team secret the fight's not gonna be over 5v4 as power goes into the flank flag and drag not gonna go for the knockoff as well that's going to be the one for all. Team Secret takes the advantage. Nice pick there from Team Secret. Nice reflexes coming from Chewy. Immediately using the, the, the Chain of Corruptions. Again, if you get caught out by that, especially that Fennel Adversity are going to be focusing their money. Tatsuri goes in. Half HP for power. They're going to go for the disengage. As now, stand still for now, both teams. They got to bring it up again. Because of 
the Fizz being present, Final Adversity is forced to have Stasis Enchant rather than QSS. So the Chain of Corruptions will be key here. Coming from the side of Team Secret, once you get one, they're most likely not going to get out. That's the third stasis already available for Fennel. That's going to be very defensive against Tatsuri, who is now 2-1-1. Has the Rabidons and Lichbane. He is going to be hella painful. So the next fight's going to be very important. Who will get the first pick first? Will it be, will it be Team Secret or Fennel Adversity this time around? And uh, it will depend on the vision control as Team Secret will be first one there. They do. They have it, but Team Secret's gonna be split pushing, not split pushing, but rather split when it comes to the man divide. As Azar is only on to the bot lane, but it looks like Team Secret has another thing in mind. They're going for the mid lane turret. Final Adversity takes the Cloud Dragon and Team Secret trades down on tier him. one. Cataclysm will lock down onto Trevor. Trumps the water goal for the knockoff title way to follow through. That's gonna be a good engage. But Trevor Mailstrom. is now gonna be locked in. Slicing Maelstrom goes for the stun. He is gonna fall down, but he's still gonna be alive for a bit longer at seconds remaining. But that will be the one for two teams. Secret takes the advantage down. Look at Azar into the backside, go for the stun. Double kill for Azar. And Rafi will be low HP as Team Secret takes the driving seat once again. Excuse me, Hamas, what was that bubble? That was game change. That was fight changing there. Coming from Hamas and Team Secret, not only do they get the inner tower in the mid lane, but they also get the Baron in exchange. A lot of death timers on the board. Will Fennel buy teleport in exchange of this Zonius enchant just to see if they can steal back the Baron? There's no vision whatsoever. Look at the pings though. They want to go. They want to challenge this? Oh, TPs no. are now coming through, but no wards for Fennel Adversity to even go for TP, so... That will be an uncontested Baron Nasher for Team Secret. It is Team Secret now back in the driver's seat. And it's their turn to do the siege. As now, Team Secret... Look at that, 4-3-3 Azar is massive Death Stance and Solari Charge Blade. As well, we're manifully stacked ready for Chewie and Sereldis. It's going to be a lot of utility on the board with the slows. And more piercing arrows, Staff of Flowing Water for the side of Hamez. So getting that ability haste for that spam ability for the rest of his team as well. So Fennel now forced to play defense, but wave clear wise, Akkadian Rain is the only thing that they can rely on for wave clear and it's not going to be pretty. Yeah, the traditional 1v1 setup gives off all pressure in all lanes for Team Secret up against Fennel Adversity. And Fennel will have to divide their manpower, but not going to be particularly the best case for them as Team Secret already has 4k gold lead and they cannot get the kill easily for any of these champions as Azar is mobile. Victor is mobile. Pretty much every single one of them, but Cataclysm will actually go for the lockdown. Chewie is actually go for the flash away. Shaw oh. goes for the slicing Maelstrom, but not going to connect onto anyone. Monsoon go for the sustainability as that will be the one for one. Now that is going to be Team Secret happy about... Well, not happy as they lost their AD carry. Doming though in exchange will be gone. So Team Secret's Siege will be a little bit more restrained here as they just focus their efforts on Bali. Look at oh. power so low! Oh, Tatsuri! So much damage! But not gonna get that kill down, but puts him at a very low HP, so gets the free real estate on top side and their turn. Bot lane! Recover still pushes mid lane. And now bot lane's gonna be opened up at Team Secret once again. Azar is crazy on this ribbon. He eliminates... Uh, Shaw there, and he's unable to do anything, sadly. And that's the thing. Kennen is going to be very reliant on the flash for these engages, and you're you want the Zonius enchant rather than the proto belt, which you know you're you're basically torn. Zonius stasis is much more valuable just because you've got the Tsuri on the opposite side, and you want to survive once you go all in. So Rabidons will be the next take for Shaw, but the biggest question is: is it is it still? Uh, the the victory, the, the Fennel's victory rather, is is it, is it still available for them? Because Team Secret is very far ahead. Fennel's base is practically very open. And now with 19 seconds on the clock for the Elder Mountain Drake to spawn, Team Secret is very primed for this. It's highly unlikely Team Secret goes for the Chumps to Water. Doesn't go for the Engage though, but Mountain Elder Dragon is still going to be up. To answer your question, I think it's highly unlikely for Final Adversity to still take this down as their base is open for all lanes. Now though, Tatsuri actually comes in, 
Very, very risky, but Tidal Wave will go for the disengage. Shaw will die, and Team Secret will get the numbers advantage. Just 12 in the 3v5. Team Secret now collapsing into the bot lane. Danny will use the flash down. Azar trying to catch up. That's gonna ignite, burning him away. Azar tries to do it, tries to make it. He will not. Look at TP's from <laughs> Trevor. <laughs> TP's to himself. Good play. Team Secret takes game two or game three as they take their second series in the game secured by this team. Team Secret, no sweat. Their expression says a lot. Just just another day at work for them. As a uh, hummus with the uh, with with the uh, with the uh, maybe last uh, the post game words I believe <laughs> for game number three. <laughs> what is Team Secret showing a lot of domination? They they they, sh they based on the player camps they don't they don't look uh, shuffled at all. They don't look like they were rattled rather at all. And this is looking to be like a full on momentum coming from Team Secret side. They have found the formula. Coming from the draft and even the way they play against Final Adversity. And now they are at match point. Yeah, the formula is Varus plus Riven for Team Secret <laughs> equals to win. <laughs> it's that not like mass equals force times acceleration. Not that type of thing. It's Riven a different formula. Plus Varus. Yeah, it's a different formula. It's only exclusive to Team Secret, Wild Drift against Final Adversity. But now let's look at the stats coming down into it, into post-game analysis. What do you think about what we're looking at right now, Riku? Team Secret was very patient in this game. They knew that they didn't really need to do anything up until Chewy managed to get more manifully stacked. They knew that Federal Adversity was more pressured 